Teresa Giudice has dedicated herself and all of her resources to the Real Housewives of New Jersey since 2009. The original has shared every detail of her life, even her fourth daughter's birth and her incarceration. Teresa's antics of flipping tables have helped to make the Bravo brand famous throughout the years. However, you can't ignore the unique spark she brought to reality TV, whether you love her or despise her. She ought to be housed at the Smithsonian alongside Julia Child's actual kitchen and Judy Garland's ruby slippers, in my opinion. Her funny quips are one thing about Teresa that I will always remember. Bravo just gave Treehuggers a compilation of some of the greatest one-liners ever said. Tree said, I swear to God I'm gonna blow my casket, I really am, at the beginning of the video. Actually, though, she intended to say gasket. The reunion for season three was a divine gift. When it came to crafting her strikes, Teresa made a few mistakes. My best moment was probably when she attempted to say uneducated, but instead it said unjucated. When Teresa wanted to criticize her old friend Jacqueline Larita in season four, who could forget it? Tree made this hilarious candid comment. She's like heckle and jide one minute she's attacking me, and the next she's looking sad. It was evident that Teresa was attempting to invoke the concept of Jekyll and Hyde. Teresa once advised Melania Judas during season 13 that there is always hope for a brighter future. However, even this counsel has been twisted about her daughters. Danielle Staub is undoubtedly still haunted by Teresa's comments from season 1. She yelled, prostitution whore, and Tree lost control. 19 times, you were engaged. Fans' memories of tossing over a dinner table, however, will always be free of charge. However, Teresa's comment on Kim G. I respect the elderly, may be my all-time best insult. Teresa also had the perfect insult right before she followed Danielle around a country club in New Jersey, asking, is better? Teresa found herself in a battle with Melissa Gorga during a previous reunion. Like every season, Tree had felt like a personal victim. She promptly hit back, stating, he was talking about Kathy when she was called out for what Melissa had supposedly termed Joe Judas's raccoon face. Teresa was a delightful example of irony. Though Caroline Monzo was considered to be as Italian as the Olive Garden, Tree's remark about her in Early Teresa may have caused the greatest offense. Feel the pain. I doubt Teresa has never had a disagreement with anyone. The original is always right. Thus she doesn't consider anyone off-limits. Back in Season 5, the very first episode of Off the Rails was an absolute gem. After the two had attempted to mend their friendship, Tree was arguing with Jacqueline. The resident of Las Vegas requested a one-on-one -on -one conversation with Tree, but the Og angrily retorted, You don't tell me what to do. The remainder is history. Over the year, Kathy Wackile was a formidable opponent for Tree. It all began when Kathy graciously led the kids out of the ballroom after Melissa's son was christened. Tree took offense and felt that her cousin was implying she was a bad mom for leaving them unattended. Kathy and Tree argued again on the cast trip, which left Kathy no other choice but to call her cousin Cuckoo. Teresa loved a good scrap, and while most of her fights were pointless, all of them were entertaining. For 14 seasons, Tree has been the gift that keeps on giving. She has always been TV gold without having to try. Teresa has remained the same since day one, which is why so many fans can't help but love her.